What we're looking at here is <clears throat> the nameplate on a three-phase nine-lead motor. This is very important because uh, it tells you the voltage on the motor. It also gives you the amperage that motor will draw and also how to connect the leads for high voltage, which would be 480 volts or uh, 230 volts, uh, which would be a low voltage. At the very uh, top up here, it says three phase. And the frame is 56. That would be, if you had to change this motor out, you would use that frame number to get the same amount of holes that uh, the frame of this motor would have. This is a one horsepower, 60 hertz, or 60 cycles. Next line is your voltage. It's a 208, 230, slash 460. Revolutions per minute is 1765. We drop down the next one is amperage, and that's, that's the amperage that the thing would pull on low voltage and high voltage. Service factor, it's a 1.15. That's just telling you that you can go 15% for a certain amount of time over what the uh, horsepower wattage of this motor, and uh, it won't damage it. Next one is the code. That gets into letting you know how much the uh, amperage will be uh, pulled when it starts up. Duty is continuously. Uh, you can run this thing 24-7. The altitude, unless you was really high up, you wouldn't even have to consider that. And really, uh, the next thing that we come down to is the hookup of that. And that's your low voltage and high voltage. And that tells you what leads of the motor to hook to get the correct voltage that you want.